Hey, what is going on everyone? It's your boy Timothy Sides up in Gold Dragon. Make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and bell notification buttons as all your support really helps me remain motivated to continue making a variety of different type of videos on this channel as a legally blind YouTube content creator. Now, I just got done watching the Resident Evil 4 remake second trailer and the extended gameplay trailer. Right. First of all, not as bad as the first one, okay? Because honestly, the first one, I thought it was a joke. The second one, yeah, it does some things a bit more impressive. Um, I'm still a bit disappointed with the graphics, though. All of them look like they have very oily faces. Okay, N none of them looks natural. It's like, like especially in their noses, it's like there's like a, there's like a dim tube light in their, in all of their noses for some reason. The noses keep, you know, the bridge of the nose it keeps glowing like unusually bright. Especially what's her name, Ashley Graham. Okay, and next, um, Leon's voice acting, um, whoever, like, I don't think it's going to be Paul Mercier this time, but whoever did it, didn't do a bad job, at least, you know, from what it sounds like. Ada Wong, was it Sally Kate who, do, who did the original, original uh, uh, Resident Evil 4? I thought she was, I thought she was great in Resident Evil 2, like, I think, I think that's her name, Sally Kate, the one you know, the original uh, Ada Wong voice. I, it doesn't sound that that good, but um, yeah, it's workable. Okay. So, there are going to be some changes, like, you know, um, I'm a little surprised that um, at least in the gameplay trailer, Leon doesn't start off hitting on Hunnigan. Like, they, they remove that edge from Leon. And, listen, it is 2022, right? We're going, going into 2023. Keeping something like that, it's not going to set the internet on fire, okay? It's not. Okay, it's not like Leon is doing something gross or nasty. Okay, he's just being him. Um, if they cut that, at least that from the game, like, you know, that adds to his character, like, it, it, it'll be a bit disappointing because, like I said, it's after the original Resident Evil 4 where Leon started to show up in the Solid Snake coolness type of territory. Like, don't get me wrong, no one from Metal Gear Solid, uh, no one from Resident Evil ever, you know, has the coolness factor of Solid Snake or Big Boss. Absolutely no one, but Leon is the one who got the closest, and I would like, I would not like to see that removed from him. Okay, um, uh, Ingrid Honigan's uh, uh, remodeling, like I, I, I think I work with someone who looks like that in my office. <laughs> but yeah, um, so you know, uh, the, that's all right. Um, the. Uh, the rest of the story element, yeah, it it felt okay enough, but I was disappointed when I did not find someone specifically. Jack Krauser. I don't know about you guys, but for me, the coolest character in Resident Evil 4 was not Discount Paul Phoenix it or Albert Wesker. I mean, l listen, listen. He has the Paul Phoenix punch, all right? The stun effect when Wesker does that punch, every time he did that punch, I went, Pwah! you know, you know, you know, from Tekken three. Okay, but for me, it was it was Jack Krauser, and I did not see him in the trailer, which was a bit disappointing. Saw so, uh, Sadler, Salazar, and like you know, a bit more gore. So that was all right. Okay, now that's it for the trailer and a bit of the gameplay, but. For more of the gameplay, you know what? It doesn't look that bad. It looks it looks pretty good actually. It looks much better than Resident Evil 7 where you can't even see anything. Like you know, like there's so much like camera movement and camera shaking and blur and whatnot. At least over here they kept the movement a bit smoother. Where like you know you can somewhat still follow the action. So that was good to see, uh like you know. The resemblance to the original because there's like comparison video as well 
that was good to see as well that you know there is a good amount of resemblance and resident evil 4 is also one of my favorite no not one of my it's my favorite resident evil game like you know you know that i've played and like resident evil 5 is the one for me that that pushed me over the limit i'm like okay no i i i can't i can't deal with this franchise anymore okay but from what i've seen in the gameplay um yeah the the monsters or the enemies move move quicker they are, they have a bit more ingenuity and and they're working with they're working with more advanced uh, uh software like hardware and software i mean okay they're working with playstation 4 hardware all right it's not like playstation 5 is going to add too much more in terms of game content and game details and game mechanics and basically a completely new game compared to playstation 4 and this game is going to be released on on the playstation 4 give me less reasons to buy a playstation 5 thank you very much um like god of war ragnarok playstation 4 this game playstation 4 like okay thank you okay so based on that i will have to say you know it gets a slight thumbs up for me so will i buy the game now given that they have unlocked the pandora's box on accessibility ironically enough with the most accessible game that i have played but with the most insultingly bad story that i have encountered so much so that i feel that that naughty dog made sure that even legally blind or disabled people can bask in how bad the last of us part two is okay but given that the last of us part two has opened that pandora's box i will have to i will have to wait and see if this game is going to be accessible enough for people like me if it is there's a good chance i will buy this game i will buy and play this game and when i buy and play this game i will do a playthrough on this channel otherwise like one of my upcoming videos coming up uh, uh the evil within um am i gonna buy that game no no it's not accessible am i gonna give a review and my thoughts on that game absolutely i'm just uh, uh finishing up uh one last video on a particular character that i've already done videos on but there's a particular remark by one of the uh, people who voiced one of the characters it, it is so like you know absurd that I felt I have to make one last video in response to this person but after that the next big video is the evil within so if Resident Evil 4 remake does not have this type of accessibility it will get the evil within treatment if however it has this type of accessibility I will do a complete playthrough and review on this channel. So do stay tuned. And as for God of War Ragnarok, yes, I am definitely going to buy that game. And I'm definitely going to make a full playthrough of that game on this channel. If everything remains the same and if nothing else changes. All right, that's it. Let me know what you thought about the Resident Evil 4 remake second trailer and the extended gameplay trailer it's your boy the reset the bengal dragon signing out make sure to hit that like subscribe and bell notification buttons